Hello and welcome to episode 3 in our Frequently Asked Question series. This week we'll be covering two related questions on MVRs and NAS devices. So let's jump straight in with question number 1. If I already have a NAS for file sharing and storage, can I record my IP cameras to that or will I have to buy a separate MVR? Now this is a specific but quite common question and the answer is very simple. Yes, you can store IP footage to a NAS as long as the NAS you own, like the Synology and QNAT NASs we sell, can have a VMS or app downloaded to it that will allow you to view and store the footage. We would advise doing some research first before committing to a NAS device as some brands will have a VMS available, but its features may be limited when compared to an MVR which is designed specifically for storing IP video. That point leads into question two. Which should I choose, NAS or MVR? Now, this is a very big question, so we're going to split it in two and give you a short list of pros and cons for both. Let's start with NAS. The first pro of a NAS is that it's primarily for file sharing and storing. This means as well as storing your IP footage, you can use it to store documents, as well as using it to send video and audio files to smart network devices such as TVs and speakers. The fact that they are primarily for sharing and storing files is also a negative point. Because in some cases, as the VMS or app for storing IP footage isn't a priority, the design and function of said VMS can be rough around the edges and not very user friendly. The second pro point is that more often than not, they are quite small in size, which combined with its file sharing capabilities makes the NAS a good choice for homes and small offices. On the other hand, a con of NAS devices with most brands is that when you exceed 16 cameras or 16 terabytes of space, they become very large and very cumbersome devices as well as being incredibly expensive. The final big pro point of NAS devices compared to almost all MVRs is that the majority of NAS devices have some way of quickly changing hard drives. This is usually referred to as hot swappable. This is where a hard drive can be removed from a NAS and replaced with a new hard drive without shutting down either the NAS or the network it's attached to. This makes NAS devices great for high security situations where losing a hard drive could be catastrophic. The NAS allows you to replace a broken hard drive or set a hard drive bay aside as a fallback. This is much harder to do on an MVR. Now, the pros and cons of an MVR. The first big pro point is that unlike NAS devices, MVRs are designed specifically for use with IP cameras. This makes every process between your MVR and your camera a lot easier. Whether that is connecting them, setting up recording schedules or changing settings on individual cameras. The first negative point about MVRs is to do with the previous point about easy camera and MVR communication. The problem is because of the competitiveness of the IP security industry, it can be tricky to link cameras or MVRs by different manufacturers. Even with the introduction of the OnVIV standard, as every camera brand has its own similar but unique features. It should be said though that it's still probably easier connecting devices from different manufacturers to an MVR than to a NAS. But this leads into another pro point, that is if you buy an MVR by the same manufacturers as the cameras you own, the VMS that comes with the MVR will be able to identify brand specific features of those cameras that a NAS software would not be prepared for. As well as allowing you to access all the features and settings of your cameras all from one place via the MVR. Whereas a NAS would require you to visit each camera's individual IP address to change any brand specific features. <clears throat> one small con with MVRs is that if one of your hard drives fails or has a fault, not only is it tricky to remove and replace, but also you will have to shut down the MVR completely to replace it. And in the worst case scenarios with some brands of MVR, when you turn them back on, you may be asked not only to format the new hard drive that you've just fitted, but all of the hard drives inside the MVR but failed or faulty drives are a rarity. The final big pro point of MVRs is they come in a much wider range of variations. So if you only need one terabyte of storage for four cameras, there's an MVR for that. But at the other end of the scale, if you're installing a huge system of 100 plus cameras and need around 48 terabytes or more of storage, then there's an MVR option for that as well. In the end, if you don't already own a NAS or don't need the file features that it offers, we would advise buying an MVR. And out of all of the points about MVRs made earlier, the one point that sways us towards them as the better option is simply the fact that they are designed solely for IP cameras. So if you're just after the peace of mind of knowing that your IP footage is safe and secure, MVRs are the way to go. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking down here. Check the description below for links to our social media feeds. 
If you'd like to buy an MBR on NAS, follow the link here for our web shop. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, check the playlist out up here. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.